Paintwork is dry behind me on the wall and it's looking good. And so is the skating board and the dado rail. So I'm going to glue these now to the wall behind me. It's all still prep, of course, for the French Chic video. But we thought we'll grab a little 3C video, hence the T-shirt on, of me gluing these to the surfaces, either using our multi-grip or good old Max Bond. I think I'm going to use the Max Bond on the dado railway. That's higher up, obviously, not supported by anything. And then the actual skating board, that's on the wall floor. So I'll just use the uh, multi-use for that one. Okay, guys, let's get a time lapse for us. Yep. Oh, there, boys over there, they got their two cameras ready. Give us a wave, guys. Look like you want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Prepping for this radiator video. Uh, let's take these off. So I bought a couple of valves to fit on the end of this old, let's say, old second-hand radiator that we're using as a, a demonstration to paint. It has been painted many times before, so I'm going to give it, <coughs> excuse me, a good sand down. It's going to get cleaned as well. Uh, I'll have the valves on the side, but first I'm going to mount it to the wall. And I've got these brackets here. Norm normally there's one big bracket like that goes on a bigger radiator, but these are only really small. So I've had to buy four, four small brackets. They'll be fitted into position here and here on the wall. So let's get a height. Get an idea. Where's our middle of the wall? About here. Let's have them about, about there, eh? The pipes are going to come off, go out underneath. I'm going to say about that height here. It's only guesstimate, obviously it's not going to be, it's not going to be staying here for long. In fact, a couple of days once we finish filming it, it will uh, all come off. Right then, new screws. There we go, let's get here in. Here, it should sail straight through these plastic boards okay. Am I kind of in the middle or I'll come over a little bit more? That right here. Done my seams so well in between, I can't actually see where my center of the wall is. I actually can't even see the seam. I'm gonna guess, yeah, about here, yeah, yeah. So let's go about here with it. Here we go. <laughs> Getting that leveled up, little boat level with a magnet on it. That's it. Half the time, these videos that we do literally take longer to prep them than actually shoot the videos. So I've got a 210. Sorry. Um, 185 between the two tops there. So this one needs to be 185 from here. fitting these at home 
we're going through a plasterboard, the likelihood brickwork behind it. We will, be, we will be drilling with the masonry drill bit and then and then you would pull a plug in to take the weight book behind our plasterboards. This is only our studio so we have uh, just wooden folding boards. There we go. Right. Easy level. Perfecto. <laughs> We'll live with that, okay? He's on the wall. Now we've got to pull up. Things we do for TV to make it, to make it look real. How do I put that in there? Now? Oh, there we go. There we go, look at that. No one would even know the difference. Ta da! Just pretend there's water in it. Pretend. First layer of paint now done on the radiator and it's masked up well as well. Look at that, masking up all around the back really neatly around the actual pipe work and the blowers on it trying to dry it out ready for the next coat i'm going to do three coats all in all i'm going to apply it with a paintbrush first then i'm going to use a little radiator roller and then the next coat is going to be uh, the paint sprayer just applied it on with the roller but now i'm just feathering it off with the brush it's hard to get Perfect finish using a brush and a roller. You really have to just keep going over and over it again. But when it's dry tomorrow, we'll apply another coat with the paint spray. 